a problem here. We're given a multiple choice question on polar integrals. When we do the work, we'll need to integrate secant cubed, which is not a straightforward integral. Instead, because we're given a list of possible values, we'll approximate to get our answer. So if we're in an exam situation, looking for a best guess, or if we have the precise answer and we want to check our work, we can use this method. Now the problem, when I integrate, okay, we have the function on the plane, f of xy equal to square root of x squared plus y squared, over the triangle with vertices 0, 0, 2 squared to 3, 0, and 2 squared to 3, 2. We have the following range of answers. So since we're going to approximate, I'll convert all of them to decimal. And we know because of possibility f, we're not guaranteed to get the correct answer here. So there's a limitation on what we can get from this. Now, answer is going to be c. So I'll leave this on the board for when we do our work. So what do we do first? First step, I want to set the integral up. So that means we've got a review going from polar to rectangular coordinates and back. If we draw our picture, okay, so we have a triangle with vertices 0, 0, 2 squared to 3, 0, 2 squared to 3, 2. I want to find ranges for the angles and the radii. Now, for the angles, if we just do our trig, we see that this is going to go from 0 to pi over 6. To get the range of the radii, we need to do a little bit of work. So let's draw. Okay, I'm going to pick a theta in our range. We'll draw in the smaller right triangle, extending from 0 to the far leg for the hypotenuse. A label, hypotenuse is R, and then our legs are X and Y. Then our formula is to convert from rectangular to polar and back. With the X is R cosine theta, Y is R sine theta, R is equal to square root of X squared plus Y squared. Now, first thing we note, for the big triangle, okay, the x is never going to change. It's always going to be 2 squared to 3. So we'll have that 2 squared to 3 is equal to x, which is r cosine theta. If we divide both sides by cosine theta, okay, 1 over cosine theta is secant theta. So I have this formula for r. So the range of r that we'll use is going to go from 0 to 2 squared to 3 secant theta. Okay, note that's going to depend on the theta that we're using. For our function, okay, we have square root of x squared plus y squared, which is just r and polar coordinates. Now I have everything I need to set up our integral. So for our limits, okay, note r is going to depend on theta, so that's going to be the inner integral. The idea is going to be when we integrate, we're going to take the r out of the integral completely. Everything left over should be a theta. So that's going to work out when we do it this way. Now, we have our function r. We have our element for area, which is r dr d theta. So our first integral is going to be r squared dr, or 1 third r cubed. So that's where the secant cubed theta comes in. Now, that's where we stop with the problem here. So I'm not going to work out the precise answer. We just want an estimate. Now, for our estimates, Okay, we draw our picture, we have our original triangle, then we're going to fit it between two circular wedges. For the wedges, okay, theta is going to go from 0 to pi over 6. For the smaller wedge, r is going to go from 0 to 2 squared to 3. For the larger wedge, r goes from 0 to 4. Why 4? 4 is just the length of the hypotenuse for the original triangle. So if I take the sum of the squares, square root, we get 4. Now, this trick only works because our function, okay, r, is non-negative on the plane. For our integral over the smaller wedge, okay, we have r going from 0 to 2, square root of 3. When I work that out, I get pi over 6, 2 square root of 3 cubed, divided by 3. Put that into a calculator, and we get roughly 7.3. For the integral over the larger wedge, okay, r is going from 0 to 4. Work that out, I get pi 6, 4 cubed divided by 3. Put it into a calculator, we get roughly 11.2. Now, when we check our answers, the 
only possibility that falls in our range is going to be 8.42 or C. So that narrows our answers down to either C or F, none of the above.